a wonderful time to be in the garden. Tomatoes are growing. The squash is growing. It's the third week of May. We're all finished planting. And everything is growing. Even the strawberries. Check it out. It's awesome. Everything is just growing. Uh-oh. Including the weeds. The weeds. Oh, no. Weeds. Weeds everywhere. No. The bane of the gardener. The weeds. Since they compete with the other plants, especially the onions, which don't like this, uh, we're going to have to do something about them. So, hang on, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite tools to help me weed. My first favorite weeding tool is this. It's a garden weasel, garden claw. Now, the thing about weeding is you don't want to just try to reach in with your hands. You've got to break up the soil. And this thing breaks up the soil really good. Let me show you. Now, these are dandelions, and so they've got some deep roots, but we're going to have to dig a little bit to get these out. That's just because they're dandelions. Now, if you can see this, it's got some clover here too. That comes out really easy with this. Just like that. And here comes the clover. There you go. Real easy. Into the bucket. Go over here where I broke up the ground to plant my onions, which. I should have been on top of this weeding a little bit earlier. I break up this ground here with this garden weasel. And then you'll see the weeds just come right out. Just like that, you just separate them, throw them in the bucket. Now my second favorite weeding tool is this had this for years. Not that end, that end. Watch this. Let me bring you over here a little bit more. Aim you a little bit around this way. And you can see how I use this. Ouch. Let's lift the uh, onions out of the way. And we can just come through here like this. Some of this you're going to point out to me has already been has already been loosened up by the garden claw. But this does a little better job of breaking it up into small pieces. Like this, if you want to separate the dirt. The other thing about this, which you can't do with the garden claw, there's no need for that anymore, is you can get a little closer to the to the onions with it. You can get inside the onions with it. Like so still here? Yeah, we're still, still with me. But when it gets time to uh, get really close to the onions, dinner fork. <laughs> An old dinner fork. My wife will see me out here with a dinner fork weeding. You see right here, I've got a weed right in here. There's no way I can get anything in here but this dinner fork to get these weeds out like that. Here's another one. 
don't know if you can see one right here. This is right at the right at the bulb of the onion plant. So be very careful. Here's another weed that's right at the bulb of the onion plant. And the dinner fork lets us get in there and pretty much surgically remove these weeds. Between this and this and this, we're going to get this. We're going to get all these weeds out of here. You can see, it only took me a few minutes to make some pretty good progress on the uh, weeding this out. Here's the before, there's the after. Weeding is not easy. I mean, we can make it easier, but you can see that by using the garden claw and the hand cultivator hoe, I've got all the weeds out along the back here between the fence and, and the rows of onions. And I've also got the front also weeded out. And now I've got all the weeds on the inside that need to be taken out. Weeding, the gardener's least favorite task, but very necessary, especially for onions, because onions don't compete well at all. So that's it for now. Um, I'm going to keep working on this. Use this uh, fork here. Use this fork here to get the last of these weeds out between the uh, the rows, and uh, call it a day. Anyways, uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, keep on gardening, guys. This is Gordon Reader. Uh, take care for now. All right, done. Now what an improvement. I'm going to water these things down just to get the, uh, the roots of the uh, onion settled back in just because we have disturbed uh, the soil and we're going to get that all taken care of and uh, that's it, we're done.